Hi folks, Robert here with more Ribbon Training and today we're going to look at a family here. This is going to be with my family series. Uh, so we're going to open the, oh, not that one, we're going to do a new family, sorry. So we're going to go here, new. So what happens here is we want to create a hosted data device family. And we're going to try to add some um, different parameters with it because we move it on with these family uh, parameters and they're working pretty good. So here we're going to go to English Imperial and uh, just bear with me one second here. Let me get my clock together. I kind of time myself. Okay, so we want to go and find our data device hosted. So we'll select that and we'll open this family template. Okay. So this is where, like an MEP template or whatever you want to do. So now, um, kind of the first thing you want to do here, you want to uh, rename this to something like, uh, uh, let's just save it as something here. I'll save it as, family, I'll put it on your desktop so I can find it and this will be what we would call our data receptacle probably should have just let this wait okay and we're going to options here we always want to go one so okay so we all we all know this so sorry i had to waste the time doing that and we'll save it so now what we want to do we want to just drop some reference planes here we can quickly do that by just going uh, reference plane now first thing we might want to do is uh change the scale um and then we might want to also let me see let me change this to three inches equal one because this is a small thing um, there. Okay, now um, we're in our reference level and that's what we want to be. Now I think we want to also change our units here uh, to fractional inches. So we'll go to manage here and project units and we'll go on length here and we'll say fractional inches we'll go okay okay so that'll make it a little easier on the eyes i think so now we want to go and create reference planes and draw our basic our, our receptacle so here we can do we can go uh create reference plane here uh wow let me see that's going to be maybe there this is a small thing i don't even know if i have to go that and we know how to do this, right? I've been doing this forever, creating families. I should have just skipped this, but it's kind of important that we get this right here because we got to do a certain little thing here. This is a receptacle. We want it to be um, flexible. So I'm going to go with line dimensions here to there to there, and I'm going to get equality. And then we want to set a parameter for that one. Okay, and the same thing here. Make that equal. And we're going to have a parameter here. Okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and name these guys here. Create a parameter. This is going to be, uh, let's say, W1. Just for now. Okay. And this one will be L1 here. Should have capitalized, sorry, but you can see that. Okay. And now uh, if I go into my type parameters here. Okay, six and six, uh, we don't want to be that big. Let's go with something like a, 
three and a four. Let's see. Uh, the W, let's make that a three for now. That looks more like a receptacle, don't you think? Okay. So now let's get another little thingy in the middle here. We're going to need two types of things here. So I'm going to create reference plane again. I'm going to create one here. I mean, guys, if you haven't been watching this, it's videos of families, basics. You can go to the beginning, and they're pretty good. I just haven't done it in a while, and, and I, somebody asked me to do a data device in MEP. I mostly do these from people asking me questions. So here we're going to go with another reference plane here. And another one here. This is for our inner piece. And what I'm going to do here now is basically the same thing. Um, we want to get any quality here. So we can always go in here and grab this guy. We can pull him up. Like this one here. And then you go out. So I want to go now. I want to go annotate. I'm going to get. Okay, where you at? Align dimension. Man, such a waste of time. And then we go with our other one here. Okay, and we're going to make this a parameter, and then we're going to do the same thing here. Um, so this is a little different from what we've been doing in the past, but uh, we're going to go into a lot of things. <laughs> and go there, and there, and I'm going to make that equal. And then I'm going to go across here, and that's going to be my parameter. So now we've got our L1 and our W1 and our W1. So now we're going to create these guys here. I want to make a parameter here. I probably shouldn't have to do this. Uh, this is just so we can be flexible. That's all, guys, because this is going to be probably a set dimension, whatever it is. Uh, so let's go with uh, W2. Okay. There's my W2, and this is going to be, guess what? skeleton so now we want to go in here and just look at our types here so we've got everything here and what we want to do is I think for the inside piece let's make this uh, one and a half inch so we should be able to go in here so that would mean our W2 want to make that one and a half inch let's say 1.5 go apply okay and then for our length here our L2 let's make this uh, that's four and a half uh, that's fine but let's do the inside this might be a little tighter here so let's go with uh, three inches here yeah so that'll be a L3 we'll go three inches yeah Sorry, L2. So I don't want to muck around with this too long. I want to get on with this because uh, I want to start making more intense videos because this is going to be part of my uh, membership only. This is kind of a sneak preview. So there we go. So I'm going to go apply here and OK. So now we have our, uh, our skeleton and everything should work right, uh, I think. So now, let me see. Let's probably make this maybe four inches here. Make this four. Yeah. That looks a little better, I think. Uh...
So we're gonna rock with this for now. Uh, let me let's see what we have. Okay. So now what we do is we start creating our ref, our, our, our extrusions. So again, like I said, we can play around with this as much as we want. But for now, I'm going to do a little something here. I'm going to make sure that I'm going to change this one here to four and a half. And this one is going to be three. That's good. That's two and three quarters. It's 2.75. So see what I'm saying here? I can be very flexible here. Okay. So there's my flexibility. So now we've got our, our skeleton. So what I want to do now is I want to create two model extrusions. So here I want to go here and hit my extrusion. And then I want to select for this is going to be my first one. It's going to be the inner. But here for my depth, I'm going to set this at minus 2 and 1 8 inch. So right here, and go space and just key it in. Sorry, metric guys, but we still use Imperial over here, fortunately. And then I want to just draw it in. So um, I kind of like to. Align these, or I can do this. Let me see if I can go here. It won't lock, so I've got to make sure I'm getting locked in here. So I'm going to go pick line, click lock here, and I'm going to pick that one, that one, that one, that one, and I'm going to clean up the edges here. Okay, and then I'll finish it. Okay. Now I'm going to do our next extrusion, and it's going to be right here. And I'm going to go create, uh, grab it right here. Extrusion is right here. And then this one, I'm going to make it 3 sixteenths of an inch. There's three six tanks, real thin, thin layer there. And I'll hit there. Okay, so I'll do the same thing. I'm gonna do my pick lines here. I'm gonna have locks. Yep. Let me clean this up. finish it okay now let's go and have a look at this in our 3d view see what we got going here uh oh did it upside down here so what happens here we do a couple things <laughs> how about that it's is that right yeah that's oh see that's backwards so I gotta get this guy it should have been so let me go and back in my family type see if I can fix it from there no, I cannot. So this is what I'm gonna have to do. Show you a little trick here, guys. Sorry I messed this one up. Don't want to have to redo this video, but I might. Oh God, no. So let's go into our front view here. Okay. Um, front view. Okay, so there's the problem here. This should have been, hmm. This should have been like this. And what's this depth? Okay, this should have been minus two and one eighth. Oh gosh, that was my bad. It should have been minus two and one eighth. Yeah. So I missed that, folks, sorry. But anyway, that's how you fix it. Minus two and one eight. Uh oh. Cancel that. Go minus two and 
to space. You can do it this way. <laughs> if you want to go straight in period. So here, oh wow, what happened there? I'll just drag that up. This is not how you want to do this, so I'm going to go to here. I probably should drop a parameter on that, but we don't have to because this is going to be a set thing here because uh, it's actually in the wall. This is where we want, you might want to put a connector here. So I'm going to go on eight, and then we're done there. Okay. So this is what this is going to be in 3D. It's going to be like this, basically. This is going to be a plate on the wall, and then if I look at this in wireframe here, you'll see there's the box on the back. So now, the next thing we want to do is just go and look, and let's go into another, let me just create a, um, let me get, create a new file, let's go file, new, and I want to go with a systems family, a systems template, here, and I'm going to go OK just to see if this works uh, drop a few walls here and make this in 3d view now let's go back into our family okay oh sorry where's our family at oh Okay, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna I'm gonna tile these guys. Okay, I had to get out of that guy. Totally. So now I wanna go in here, this guy here, and I'm gonna load this into my project. Okay, place on the vertical face, of course. And then there's our little receptacle so that was all I want to show you here uh, but uh, let me see what's going on here but that's all I want to show you for now that's how you create a receptacle and a, and a, and a face base or a nested family uh, pretty straightforward um, simple I think uh, but anyway guys uh, I want to leave it there uh, this is for my family uh, uh, videos for creating families. I know it's a little bit out there, but uh, hey, people want to know how to build families, and this is basically a nested family. Uh, <laughs> wow, and that's how that works. So it's going to be in the wall, and that's why we use the base plate. So, hey guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, uh, helps me write videos like this all the time. Be safe, y'all. Bye.